Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Raymond Arity, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Ape Escape 2. Hey, Karen, I'm sending this gotcha gadget to you. You can run at lightning speed with the dash hoop, a bit of training in the gadget trainer, and you'll be as fast as the wind. Do you want to go to the gadget trainer now? Of course I do. I really, I need to get more used to the controls of this game for some, like, for some of the platforming we're gonna have coming up eventually. So I just gotta wait in front of this phone until I get the tutorial about the dash shoot, yeah. Speed. Short burst, so yeah, it gives you short burst speed. Right Nearly, speed. basically, all, basically the rule of thumb is for every single gadget, just use the right analog stick in some sort of fashion. Like you gotta twist it all around or hold it or flick it or just do whatever with it. But I was gonna say in the last episode, Jimmy caught monkeys in caught the monkeys of Bree of the breezy village in and uh, Port Calm, and then he and Natalie learned of the Freaky Monkey Five, led by Spectre, who has learned nothing from his defeat against Spike. And now we just gotta nice take another work. phone call. Get now past the get slope. Past yeah, it's slope. the same thing as before. Never get past it without the dash hoop. hoop. Yeah, the right same stick. controls as before. Oh yeah, that, that's what run. DualShock 2 when looks like, right kids. For those of you who never had a PlayStation 2 growing up, which I say is probably like none of you, because of how because of how my audience is. Now, oh yeah, there is another part. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna do this other part here. It's like it's a puzzle. Each, from now on, each of the gadgets is going to have a puzzle, like, relating to, like, what it is. So I just barge, charged in, and now I'm going to head over to the next level, which is Viva Ape Spania, where I've got to catch nine monkeys. As you can tell by the name of this level, and the music, and the overall feel and design of it, this level is meant to be somewhere in Spain. Like, uh, in the first game... Uh, all the monkeys went like through time in uh, in this game they're going across different parts of the world and in Ape Escape 3 they go on to different TV, uh, TV and movie sets so like that's like each of the themes of the games now I just caught, I caught Billy now I just gotta head up here catch this monkey which should be easy enough um, wait, did he just throw something at me? Hope it wasn't shit. <laughs> yeah, his name was Slope. He's on a slope. And some of them have eyes that are sloped. <laughs> so, yeah, there's more of these guys. As you can see there, one of them is Naruto running away from me. <laughs> uh, every time I see a Naruto run, it reminds me of the... Uh, of the uh, Area 51 raid back in 2015. Ole! Hey, ole! Ollie's at the wheel and he's crashed it into a, a fucking tree. So, yeah, just gotta grab this and use the dash hoop. I gotta use, uh, oh yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna keep beating up enemies because occasionally they, I think they drop extra lives, I'm not sure. But, yeah, just gotta get some extra lives because I'm stuck on three right now and I'm going to, uh, yeah, just hold on. Oh, that one fell down. Yeah. Uh, so just gotta keep coming after him, and yeah, there he is, his name, ah, I get it why he's tripping, his name was Trip. Fun fact, the founder of Electronic Arts was named Trip. his name was Trip Hawkins. Yeah, we, just got, we hit that switch, the platform goes up, and then we gotta wait for it to come down, and then for it to go up again. So it looks like there's a monkey over there, yeah, you can use the monkey cam with the L2 button, and it gives you bios on all the monkeys that are around. So I just gotta spin this thing around with the stick. Bash into it a couple times, lose my balance, push this cube onto the button to get this going. And now I gotta head over to the other end where I know there's a monkey. He's a hiding in that box like a solid snake, and yeah, he's mine now. So now I just gotta go find the other ones. Ah, there's the other one. This looks like another hit the switch one, and it is, luckily. So that means that goes up and then down, and then we'll get the monkey who's right there. He doesn't know we're there. You can sneak up on monkeys if you want for a more stealthy approach, but you don't actually need it that often. So I just recommend you go catch them like normal. And then just do it like that. Uh, we've only got two left, but they're not in this area. They're in the next area of 
Viva Ipania. So, just gotta head up these stairs and then through that door. Through, yeah, through the door that was at the top that we went past the last time to get to the other areas. And let's just see what's in here right now. Alright, this looks good. Ooh, there's a phone there. This looks, uh, this looks complex. You yeah, have been collecting yeah, your cookies, the tip, you collecting carrots. cookies, yeah. Look at those They're cookies health. The upper left of the yeah, screen. okay, she explains. Cookies are health. The coins can be used to, like, buy stuff in the hub world. Red jackets are lives. So, we're off in the danger zone. Yeah, five cookies. I believe you can, from normal enemies, you can take a max of monkeys, you can take a maximum of ten hits. Like, you can, like, a, a hit is half a cookie, and then, like, if you take ten hits, you die. But I think if you have any, like, bonus, if you pick up any, I believe if you pick up any cookies while you're at full health, People Chi will hold on to them, and if you lose all your cookies, uh, he'll give them back to you. So, oh no, sliding all the way down, and I gotta go all the way back up to the top. So now, I'm just, yeah, gotta go here, and then up here, and uh, the, yeah, just basically the strategy is go on to run all the way to this platform, because then you'll you'll stop here then run all the way over to this platform and then stop and then run all the way up to this platform which has this switch you pull it the door opens but you fall all the way down into the area of our first mini boss i believe yeah i think it might be the first mini boss but you just have to break these crates and ooh, i get a, a cookie that might be useful for later and yeah here's a bull there is a bull and a matador, completely cloth, and these these matador monkeys are easy to catch just as soon as they uh hey look he's dead it's Toro. <laughs> it's like Yarmo del Toro. Okay, I'm I'm doing this wrong. The thing is you're meant to hit the bull from the back. Like literally on the ass. Uh and you're gonna get chased by it, so it's actually gonna be kinda hard to avoid yeah I, i'm gonna screw up a few times uh yeah i took geez I, I took half a cookie a hit so oh, i'm gonna need help no, i'm i'm not gonna take any help i'm just gonna do this trial and error like you're supposed to and actually oh yeah notice this oh yeah this let's play will be in widescreen because ape escape 2 doesn't suffer as bad in widescreen as grand theft Auto 3 does so even though it should be in 4x3, like, I'll just leave it like this, because this actually looks like it was made for it as well. There were a good few PS2 games that had the option for widescreen. This is one of the best examples I've found. So that's what you do. You hit the bull on the ass, and then... Or on the, yeah, you hit the bull on the ass, and not on the head, even though it's red, and you think red, you think you hit it. But no, you're supposed to do this. Just chase them around, and yeah... When the light is green for a mint boss or a mini boss, that means it's full health. When it's uh, yellow, that means like middle. And then when it's red, it's just one more hit and they're down. One more. Now I've just got to get near him again. And then I have to go around and keep spinning the, the analog stick to keep the dash hoop going. And then hit the bull on the arse again. And yeah, there he is. He's going down. Oh, boom. Yeah, there's some explosions, and he just fully explodes, and there's a monkey in there. We catch him, and that's the end of this level. Yeah, we did it, we got it, yeah, let's just, now let's go to the next level, or back to the hub. Alright, now we're just going to see how many types of monkeys we caught. We got yellow monkeys, blue monkeys, Naruto running monkeys, mystery monkeys, yeah, that's pretty good, that's four different types. Here comes the first of the Uki 5, this is Uki Blue. Kiddo, what? I've got to give you credit for making it this far. Ever heard of the Freaky Monkey 5? Well, I'm Blue Monkey. The boss has ordered me to stop you, so I'm afraid that's what I must do. Don't take it personally, kid. I'm doing this for all the little monkeys out there. Come on, then! <laughs> well, you're definitely not a coward, are you? 
Hey, kid, don't you know that you've got to be careful at traffic lights? Let me give you a lesson in road safety. Come and get me! Yes, our first boss fight is Uki Blue in the North American release of Ape Escape 2. He's voiced by Greg Abbey, who is the voice of Yusei Fudo from Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds and Tristan from the original Yu-Gi-Oh! series, as well as a bunch of other characters in other four kids shows. He, in this game, he would also be the voice of Uki Red and Spectre, so he voices half the villains. Uh, not in this version, no, unfortunately. If you get it on PS4, you get the UK voices, which is a bunch of unknowns and people who've been on EastEnders. Uh, yeah, as you can tell by their colour scheme, blue, yellow, pink, white and red, these, the Uki 5 slash Freaky Monkey 5 are meant to be a parody of the Super Sentai franchise, or its western counterpart, Power Rangers. And... Yeah, yeah, the blue, blue, like, this is a pretty simple boss fight. All you have to do is just ram into him, and then when he's stunned, you hit him like that. And I bet you when Spectre sees Jimmy die like that against Ookie Blue, he's like, Hmm, yes! Ah, yes, Ookie Blue, you're doing a great job taking care of that rat! Ah, I love seeing him fall to his death like that! I'd love to see more! So, <laughs> Now, yeah, this is a basically this is a very easy boss fight once you get the hang of it. Um, I believe it's just five hits to kill him, and every time you hit him, something new is added. Like he has that force field, but it's not impenetrable. You can see here, like you can just break it and like get him down easily. Because well, he is the first boss fight. Like you're kind of meant to take him down like that. If you're wondering how I got good at that voice, I had an ambition when I was like around 17, 18 years old of voice acting. And I might be able to do that at some point in the future. I might like do a demo reel on this channel if you really, really want me to do it. And now I just have to go and get the last couple hits on Uki Blue of the Saru Sentai Uki 5. So, uh, I think, yeah, I'm nearly on the last hit. So I just gotta chase him down more, chase him down a bit more and Oh yeah, his invincibility frames hit, so I wasn't able to actually finish him off there. But I'll be able to finish him off now, running through the bombs, getting the dash hoop going, and yeah, I, yeah, I've done it. I've hit him enough times. Now, every time you do this, you just have to catch the monkey. Yeah, I did it. I caught Uki Blue. Now, I've just got a load more monkeys to catch, and we'll be on to the next one. To be completely honest, I never actually expected to die on that boss fight, like, even once. But, oh well, I lost a life on it, but I'll get another one easily. E extra lives, there are pl a good few ways to get them. And that's the first of the Uki 5 caught. Uh, Uki Blue. There's a lot more to come in the future. This series, it's going to stay weird. It's not going to get normal at any point, because this game is Japanese. Anyway guys, this is the end of the video. For all those who've just seen my channel for the first time, like, share, subscribe, comment, follow me on Twitch. Link is in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of my Let's Play of Ape Escape 2.